Hi everyone, in this video we would like to uh, give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to install um, and run Race Replay for the very first time. So here we go. First of all you'll need to head to our webpage sailingperformance.com and then uh, go to the download section. This will probably require um, ask you to register first. So I'm already registered, going to the downloads page. And so I suggest you do go through the information, previous information about some um, uh, antivirus software giving false positives. Um, it's, all, it's all safe, don't worry about it. And then installation requirements. At this stage, you must have at least Windows 7. And it's required that you have, if you want to be able to do reports, you will need to, do, uh, to have at least Microsoft Office 2010. Also, an important point is that your regional settings are set to UK decimals. Some Europeans, like possibly the French, are using commas instead of dots for decimals, and that doesn't work very well with the programs. So if this is your case, head to your computer's regional settings, click on additional date, time, and regional settings. From there, change date, time, or number format. And here you will be able to specify by going into additional settings what are the decimals. As you can see in my computer, I've got dots uh, for decimals, comma for grouping. Um, also, it's always a good thing to have a uh, date format, which is the more European type with day slash month slash year. So that's for the initial settings. Next, uh, you will need to download the Race Replay latest version. Um, these versions are updated quite frequently to make sure we, we kill all the bugs and also we are constantly adding new features. We highly suggest that you like our Facebook page, which is under facebook.com knd.sailingperformance because we post a lot of information there about how to use the tools, news, and also all the program updates. So here we go, let's download Race Replay. I'm going to save this. Save it to my downloads. Open in folder. And here it is. There's a zip file. I'll just need to unzip this. Extract all. And I now have an installer. So you must you should run this installer. Another important um, configuring, configuration setup is that once you have installed it, you have to make sure that it is run as administrator. This is how it's done. Go to the installation folder. This is on your computer. It should be under C, Program Files, x86, Sailing Performance, Race Replay. Now, once you open this up, let me tidy that up a little bit, you will find the raceReplay.exe file. Right click on it, go to properties, and then if you go to compatibility, you can check run this program as an administrator. Click OK, and that means that from now on, you will never have to worry about this again. It will always run as admin and be able to save files and do all the work it's, it's meant to do. Right, another two steps you might uh, you want to do is to click on this Race Replay World Chart, which will install another installer, which allows to have a chart background, a default uh, raster chart background in Race Replay. So I suggest you do this. And then you can also install a Race Replay help file. Uh, it'll install in the same folder, and that means that from within Race Replay, you can click on the help menu, and that will open your, your standard help file. Right, we have now downloaded it and installed Race Replay. The next, ste next step will be to uh, run it. So let's run Race Replay. So there we go. It's the first time I've run it, so I'm, I don't have a license yet. You will get a dialog like that, uh, and it's going to give you a ref key. And it's going to ask you to send it to the uh, following email. So please do that. And then we can get back to you with a trial license. Now, once it's licensed, 
you can run race replay. And you will get to this initial uh, page of configuring and specifying which data you want to analyze. So we happen to have some data available in the form of a log file, which is here, and a polar. So my log file, I can open it with Notepad, and you will just have a look at it. Here it is. So this is a text log, it's a CSV, so it could also open in Excel, but I prefer to open it in Notepad with labels at the top. Some of them are pretty readable, some of them might not be so clear, but you have a date, time, latitude, longitude, heel, boat speed, and then a bunch of other numbers. And following that, we have lines of data. In my case, it's a, we call that a one second log. There's a line of data every one second. So back in race replay, I can uh, probably go f head first to the options. Well, first of all, put my, the name of my boat. I'll leave it for my boat now, but put the name of the boat corresponding to the log. Then, because this is the first time we run it, we want to head to the options and tell it where is my data going to be stored. Uh, so I want my data to uh, for this boat to be stored in my drive D under race replay demo, select folder. And by default, it has created subfolders called config presets and config targets, which you can see on the left-hand side here. Here are my, my, my uh, folders. Uh, going back to the main page, I now need to specify which is the log. So I'll click in here, and then it automatically takes me to this work folder. My log is this one. And I've got a, um, a polar in um, expedition format, so I can specify a polar file by here you can specify which type of file it is. It's an expedition polar and I can click on expedition polar and open that. Once this is done, I need to go through what is called a, um, a config file management process, which is basically clicking on this uh, button here, config file wizard. And this was, will step me through the process of, of helping race replay understanding how my file and my data file is configured and how he can use it properly.